OK, so the second type of circuit that you need to be able to draw is a parallel circuit. And a parallel circuit has branches. So it looks something like this. So if we put our two batteries in, sorry, our two cells in. OK, it's very easy to get that model. And it looks like this. So I'm just going to draw a bulb in each branch. OK, so that's series circuit to start with. And then if I draw another branch here and another bulb, that that's a parallel circuit. OK, and it's all to do with the parallel lines of the circuit. And we can even draw a third one in here and draw a circle there. OK, now each of those branches make up the parallel circuit. OK, you can add different components in. So, for example, you could add a switch in here. OK, and actually you could add a switch in in each branch. And because I've already drawn my lines, I've made those um, look like closed switches. So I've got in this circuit, I've got a battery. OK, I have got three bulbs. Um, and I have got two closed switches. No, I haven't. Got two closed switches on this side, but actually I've got three closed switches. Okay, and it's good for you to be careful that you make sure you check how many you've got. You don't draw them with those circles around. I've just done that to highlight to you so that you can see them. So you make sure you haven't got those circles around them and that's your parallel circuit. OK, now what's important to remember is if we go back to the series circuit here. OK, I'm just going to take away that red line um, and I'm going to add in some other components in a different colour. I'm going to go for a green. OK, now if we want to measure the current um, in the circuit, OK, in the series circuit, um, what you've got to remember is that the current is the same at any point. So if we put an ammeter in, if we are going to redraw it actually, so say I've got my circuit and I'm just going to put, I'm going to put an ammeter here, I'm going to put a bulb here and I'm going to put an ammeter here. Oh, that's not an ammeter, is it? That's another bulb. I don't want another bulb. I want another ammeter. I'm going to draw another ammeter here. And let's just do this. So then we've got it. OK. So I've got three components, but I've got an ammeter, two ammeters. I've got ammeter one and ammeter two. Now, at either of those points, at either of those points, you will have a current that is exactly the same. It will be the same at either of those points. So it doesn't matter where you place that ammeter. So for example, you could add another one here. The current would be exactly the same wherever you place it in a series circuit. OK, now that is different to in a parallel circuit. OK, so what I'm going to do is if I just redraw this really quickly, so that you can see. But this time, what we're going to have is we'll draw our parallel circuit here. OK, and if we put an ammeter there, a bulb here, I'm going to put another ammeter up here on this branch and you'll see why in a minute. OK. And then I'm going to put an ammeter here, a bulb here, and then another ammeter here, and another bulb here. Make sure your lines all join up, OK? Because otherwise it's effectively breaking a circuit, so it wouldn't work. Now... You can see that 
you can take three different routes this current okay it can take those three different routes and what that means is that the current is shared okay so in ammeter one and ammeter four the current in ammeter one is equal to the current in ammeter four okay the current in ammeter one is also equal to the current in ammeter two plus ammeter three. So it means um, that it's been shared between these two branches here. OK, you could also add another ammeter in there if you wanted, but we haven't on this occasion. And that also means that ammeter four, the current in ammeter four, is the same as current in ammeter two, across ammeter two and ammeter three. It's added to ammeter three. It's shared between it. So there's quite a difference there between parallel circuits and series circuits. So, as I said before, what you've got to be able to do is draw them, draw the symbols, draw the circuit and learn the symbols. So even if you can't, you, you don't have to draw them, what you have to do is be able to recognise and name them. And then they might say, draw a simple circuit, um, including a, a battery, a bulb and a motor. OK, and you would be expected to draw a circuit diagram then. They might give you an item like a torch and say, what would the simple circuit look like? And then you would be expected to draw that as well. So have a go at learning those and practice drawing them. And we'll see you again soon. Did you know that you can purchase our physics worksheets, answer sheets and checklists, which accompany all of our science revision lessons, which have been created for years seven, eight and nine. These essential digital downloads are grouped by topic and are available from our online shop at inmyelement-uk.com. If you've got any questions, just drop me an email and I'll be more than happy to help.